Junior knocked in a pair in the Reds Braves game, but the ball didn't travel all that far. Top of the seventh, Reds already up 2 nothing, base loaded and two down, and there is Griffey. Lines one in the right field. Edwin Encarnacion and David Ross score. Reds at a 4 0 lead. Andrew Jones in the bottom of the eighth. Get out of town. 360th career homer. Ties Gary Gaetti, 65th all time. Hey, Andrew, call me when you get to near 600, will you? Bottom nine, David Weathers on to close. Braves down 6 4 1 on. Edgar Renteria grounds to Pedro Lopez. You never assume the double play. Don't even assume one. Drop the ball on the exchange. Weathers couldn't believe it. And two batters later in a one-run game, one on and two outs. Andrew didn't get all of that one. Norris Hopper, the grab. Bronson Arroyo wins for the second time in his last 10. Back to the ballpark. Devil Rays trying to beat the Mighty Angels for just the second time in their last 11 tries. And we're getting wiggy with it. Ty Wigginton had four consecutive hits coming into the game. In the bottom of the second, a single. In the bottom of the fourth, a double. In the bottom of the fifth, you're, you're thinking cycle, aren't you? No, this is just another single. It is an RBI single. Devil Rays a 5-2 lead in the seventh, pulling away up 7-2. It's yet another single for Ty Wigginton. Eighth consecutive base hit. Ties the team record set by the immortal Aubrey Huff from 2004. Ty raises his batting average to 281. For the present, Barry would see some action late as the Giants took on the Cubs. As for the other Barry, Zito not faring all that well either. He's 0-4 in his last six starts, but he brought out the curveball. Gets Mike Fontenot, Alfonso Soriano, same deal. Freezing Sean Marshall is opposite number. Zito went on to a curveball with two strikes and seemed to have it working. Bottom of the sixth, Giants 2-1 lead. Derek Lee with two strikes on him. And he isn't fooled. He was sitting on that. Up and out. That's Lee's eighth homer of the season. Has an eight-game hitting streak. We were tied. Top of the eighth now, Benji Molina pops one foul. The newly acquired Jason Kendall, all sorts of problems. And then when he gets there, can't make the play. Molina ends up reaching. That would prove to be critical. Here's Barry to pinch hit with two on. Gets a good swing at it, but lines it right to Alfonso Soriano in left. So there's two down. Two batters later, the base is loaded. And the reliever, Will Ullman, walks Dave Roberts to bring in the go-ahead run. Afterwards, Barry, a man of the people. Ahead, played the Dimebacks anyway. Claudio Vargas on the bump as Milwaukee went for its fourth straight win. Johnny Estrada, a D-back just a year ago here up. Laces one out there. That's down, that's two. Prince Fielder chugging. Oh, look at Prince come home. He's able to score from first. Deceptively quick. Brewers get within a run. It's 2-1. Bottom four. Same score. Tony Graffinino drives one deep. Let at number seven for him. He touches them all. Bernie Brewer, he loves that. And there's always a public service announcement. We caution you, don't drink and slide. We're tied at two. We go to the eighth. Crew up 3-2. Bases loaded on walks by Carlos Villanueva. But Ned Yost going to keep his man in there. And he will strike out Miguel Montero. Wicked pitch there. He struck out five in two innings. A little CPR bit there as the Brewers win 3 2, their four straight one run victory. Turn 7 10 local Phillies. Dodgers Chase Utley hitting 344 against left handed pitchers. Mark Hendrickson, he is a left handed pitcher. Top first one on Utley. Shoots it down the first baseline, rattles around the right field corner. Shane Victorino comes home to score. Phillies lead 1 0. Utley continues to hit lefties well. We go top four, 6 nothing until 6 nothing already. Ryan Howard hits just an absolute smoke job off Eric Stoltz. Two-run shot for him, his 23rd. Phils go up 8 nothing. They're trying to get a little payback for giving up 10 runs on both Sunday and Monday. It's 9-1 when Howard strikes again in the fifth. Two on the night, 24. Phillies up 11-1. to And let's just figure out, how would you pitch the big man, huh? First pitch, up and in. He jerks that one. Into right, second one, outside half of the plate, he goes the other way. 15-3, the Phillies win it, 26 hits. That's a bunch. This is San Diego, Jake Peavy's cooled down after that hot start. He's 0-2, ERA over three in his last three starts. He was 9-1 with an ERA under two prior to that. Peavy in some trouble early in the top of the first. David Wright, long fly to right, I do mean long. Brian Giles disappears, but comes back with ball in hand, tremendous grab, so Peavy had a trouble early there. Carlos Beltran on the top of the fifth. Peavy in some more trouble. Jose Valentin comes around to score. Peavy six innings, six hits, three earned. As for the Mets, their starter Orlando Hernandez fared much better. Bottom of the fifth, 
strikes out Hiram Boca Chica swinging. Then in the bottom of the sixth, Hernandez gets Marcus Giles. Hernandez, seven shutout innings. And the Mets win easily, 7 0. Tim Wakefield owns the third most career wins at Fenway all time, 7 73. This season he is 10 and 8. Billy Butler in the fourth facing Wakefield, doubles to left field. They have a large wall out there. Mark Grizzolanic. Mark Tian will score. It's 2 nothing Royals. Oh, Tian's in there easily. He could have gone back to first. Top seven, John. Buck now facing Wakefield. Wakefield just got rocked. Six and a third. Gave up six earned run. Reggie Sanders, out. Gordon will score on this one. Royals win 9-3. They've now bookend their season. They won this game, and they beat Boston opening. Yankees. Kyle Farnsworth in in relief in the eighth. Howie Clark on first. And Farnsworth throws it away, so Clark takes second. Clark would later score on an Aaron Hill double. Miguel Cairo on second and nobody out. Melky Cabrera the single. Alex Rios the throw, and Cairo is meat at home plate. A couple batters later, is Derek Jeter at the plate? You know what? Doesn't matter. Jeremy Accardo balks. Cabrera scores from third tie game. Check it again. Little buckle on the back leg. That's what we call a balk. Game tied at two, bottom 10. Here's a rod. Well, different kind of hit for him. Hit by Casey Jansen, and then Robinson Cano with runners on first and second. That's Cano's first career walk-off hit. The Yankees have won 10 of their last 13, and now trail Boston by merely eight games in the East. Minnesota, somewhat unlikely, considering it was Nate Robertson against Matt Garza. Nothing tired about Robertson's arm, and Garza had pitched in 11 days. Brandon Inge grounds at the short. Jason Bartlett, the bobble, so Inge reaches. Two on, two outs on an 0-2 count. Maglio Ordonez, that's what we call clutch in a scoreless game in the sixth. Jason Tyner comes up throwing, can't get Inge. Tigers a 1-0 lead. That's really all they would need. Bottom of the sixth. Nate Robertson with strikeout Joe Maurer in the next batter. It's Michael Kadire. Strikes out the Twins three and four hitters. Tigers shut out the Twins one nothing twice in the same season. Last time that happened was 1960. Twins were the Senators. I'm next. White Sox Indians. Just a simple 11-10 job in favor of Chicago on Monday night to open the series. Bottom nine. Drive down 5-3. Ryan Garko pinch hitting. And Bobby Jenks, a home run 12th of the year. We're tied at five and headed to extra innings. Garko, you know, that's that little insurance lizard is a Garko. Uh, bottom 11. Garko up with a chance to win it. Flashback to Friday. Indians were tied. Bottom nine against the Royals. There's Garko off Zach Greinke. Mike Grouse will come in to score, and Garko now proud owner of his first career walk-off hit. Well, let's go to Tuesday and see if we can just make a big week out of this, shall we? And it doesn't have to be far to be effective. He swung really hard. Oh, just over the outstretched arm of Juan Uripe. Jason Michaels will score. The Indians will win 6-5 in 11 innings. Garko, excellent. Play, number 10. Fred, I was, was going to start this time. Can't yeah. believe I missed right. that. Reds Braves, Andrew Jones ground a third. Edwin Encarnacion's throw is high, but Jeff Conine, the catch, foot in the bag. Is he out? Yes. Reds win 6 5. <laughs> At number nine, Ryan Spillborn's the butt. Ryan Dolmet makes the diving grab. And more from this game coming up the Rockies and Pirates. Number eight, the World Boot Throwing Championships. This is in, uh, in Germany there, but. Participants came from Sweden, Italy, Russia, USA. Remember that boxing match where the, the guy's mom came in and just started beating people with a shoe? Right. This was sort of like that, only you threw it as far as you could. She wasn't involved in this. Whee! I'm a Viking. Look at me. All hail Thor. Guy's an athlete. Links against the sun. WNBA action. Nikisha Sales. One-hander. Falling out of bounds. Shot clock expiring. And Connecticut a winner. 84-79. Or simply Nikisha. Number six, Angels Devil Race, Carl Crawford, the liner. My seer is Turris, the leaping catch. Take another look. Angels lose 8 3. White Sox and Indians at number five. Franklin Gutierrez, the fly to Jermaine Die. If you're calling for Ben Francisco, leave a message at the beep. He'll call you when he gets home. Out at the plate. The White Sox lost 6 to 5 this game. Number four, Jays, Yankees, Alex Rios, a shot to third, and look at A-Rod. Picked that one, got the throw across, 
He did not hit four home runs, but he did make a fine play there as the Yankees win 3-2. There are no more highlights uh, from this game in the top place. As promised, more from the Rockies Pirates. Troy Tulowitzki, the blooper to right. Xavier Nady coming on, and you know that feels good on the real grass. Pirates the loss, 6-2. Two Royals Red Sox, Mike Lowell, fly ball to left. Reggie Sanders, who again is auditioning for another team, which he will play for next year. Tumbling catch, excellent work. Royals win 9-3. And coming in at number one. I thought I was doing number one. John Smoltz trying to do his part to prevent that from happening. Top of the first, Ken Griffey Jr.'s. Uh, that's a lot of hits. 2,500 now, 84th player to achieve that. Top of four, though, Jr. goes down. That's some low cheese from John Smoltz. Top of seven, still no score. Smoltz gets Edwin Encarnacion. 11 Ks and seven shutout innings. Adam Dunn takes Rafael Soriano deep. Dunn's 26th. Will he be dealt for the July 31st trade deadline? Reds up two to one, going for the sweep. However, this thing got tied, and we go to extras in the 10th. Game tied at two. First and second, two outs. Scott Hatterberg singles. Norris Hopper scores. Reds up 3-2. Bottom 10, Chipper to left. First pitch, Chipper goes deep left side. Off the wall. Renteria scores. We're tied at three. Next batter, Andrew Jones. The count is 0-2. Chipper, oh, what a jump on David Weathers. And he steals third. Later, there comes Reg Manager. Pete McCannon comes out. And he says, Ryan Friel, I want you to come in. We're going to have five infielders now. So Friel sets up behind second base. Jeff Francoeur caught by Brandon Phillips. And to third, double play. Phillips, what a vertical leap. Frank Court can't believe it. 15th inning. Game still tied. 3-3. Bases loaded. Two outs. Brandon Phillips. Up the middle it goes. Hopper. Griffey. Score. Reds up 5-3. Can they get the sweep? Bottom 15. Kyle Davies. Pitcher. Pinch hitting. There's no position players left for Bobby Cox. Two on. Two outs. Sit down. How about those Reds pitchers? They struck out 19 in this 15 inning game and they sweep the Braves first time 17 years. Giants, Cubbies for the third straight game. Sore legs keeping Barry Bonds out of the starting lineup. Carlos and Brown, nobody can stop this guy. Chance to make it a dozen wins on the season. First bat of the game, Dave Roberts comes right back out of it. Here's what we'll do. We'll hit him in the hand. He won't be able to pitch anymore. Well, that doesn't work out so well. Roberts is out. Brown will stuck around. Five innings pitch, no earned runs. Base is low to Matt Cain. Facing Jock Jones with two outs. Two outs. Hits will get you to heaven, even if they go off a guy's glove. Cliff Floyd, Mark DeRosa score 2 0. Cubs later in the inning. Coy Hill rips one down the right field line for a double. That's going to rattle around. Watch out for the Ivy. Sometimes you get a rash there. Fontenot Jones score 4 0. Cubs. Oh, yeah, I could have made that call. Fifth inning, 6 nothing Cubs. Bases loaded again. Giants help him out. They walk 10 Cubbies in this game. Driven to center. Roberts, he's giving chase, doing his best. Look out for that. Oh, well. He doesn't get hurt. Giants do, though. Cubs win 12-1. They have now won 17 of their last 22. Yell means uh, down low. White Sox Indians, Jake Westbrook. Giddy posting the socks. I think I just said that. Top four, Paul Canerco. Three one count. Look at him battle Westbrook, right? Just fouling up pitch after pitch after pitch. He's got great stuff. He's up to three. He gets four and five. five and that's all it is. You know, the old timers would say he's battling yeah. right there. Steps out, catches his breath, next pitch. Finally gets the one you want. The good one. Frank me. 20th of the year, four straight season. Now, Canerco's had 20 homers, and the White Sox have a 3 nothing lead. Top six, Canerco up base is empty. Grady Sizemore giving efforts. Efforts the key to success. Yeah, follow off that one, huh? Sorry, buddy, I got a top play nominee there. Bottom seven, Indians down 4 1, two on, one out. Victor Martinez facing Matt Thornton. Martinez, whoops, off the pitch. Glove. Oh, it's interesting. Caught it. There's your double play, huh? White Sox take it 5 1, win the series over the tribe. They had lost the last three against Cleveland. Eric Bedard, 4 0, last five starts. Supposed to start this one, scratched, stiff neck. Therefore, Daniel Cabrera's in. He had a stiff neck. Watch that. The balls get lined out to the outfield. Ichiro, two for five, now hitting 352. Second to Ordonia is 358. Seattle up two to one. Chris Gomez to right. Jose Guillen, we know he has a great arm. Here it comes. Jay Payton. Oh, the nice wide slide. And the Orioles cut the lead to five to four. Tie it on a sacrifice fly. Bottom eight, bases loaded. Oh, boy. 
Chad Bradford not even close. Walks Adrian Beltre, and the Mariners take a lead. When they take a lead, they don't lose a lead because they have J.J. Putz. 28 for 28 in save ops now. There it is. The Mariners win. They're a game back of the Indians in the wild card and a game and a half back of the Angels in the division. Ryan Howard and the Phillies. They take on the Tigers. Now, they take on the Dodgers. Now, Howard had three homers in April, six in May, 10 in June, and now six in 56 July at bats. He keeps getting better. He's the big man. 1-1. One, one. Top of three. Pat Burrell pops it up. Well, here comes Russell Martin. He can't find it. Now he finds it. Now he catches it and nails the fan. Oh. Melissa Milano will write about that in a little baseball blog she has. Might be. You read that? Yeah, but she's a, a, a pitcher killer. That's right. Uh, Luis Gonzalez. Gone. Career homer 342, tied with Ron Santos, 79th all time. Dodgers lead 5 to 4. They've been playing well lately. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Takashi Saito gives umpire Mark Wagner's undercarriage a bit of a how's your father. Oh, thank goodness it was just a bit outside. Holy shnikes. Deep breath. Perhaps a few bags of ice. It was called a strike. Of course it was a strike. Later, Shane Victorino back to Saito. No one hurt on that one. Dodgers have won six to seven. Leave the Padres by one there in the uh, NL West. Diamondbacks Brewers, the crew has won four in a row all by a single run, which by rule is all you really need to win by. Top four, no score. Eric Burns pops it up shallow right. Kevin Mensch coming in. has got a beat on it, and then, then down he goes. Oh. Takes a bit of a divot there in right field. Not so good. Double for Burns. Yeah, or just put some seed mix in there, something like that. A couple, three batters later, Scott Harrison with net on first and second. That's another blooper. One up in D-backs. Two runs will score in the inning. Costly slip there. But uh, home half, here's Mench. He's up with a man on. No slip-ups. He gets them both back. We're tied at two. Mench is sixth of the year. So top eight. It's still 2-2. Two, two, two on, two outs. Mark Reynolds. Pitch out of the park. Wow. That is not the power of cheese. He plays for the wrong team for that. 5-2 Dimebacks. Reynolds, eighth of the year. Bottom nine. Same score. Jose Valverde comes in and... Well, Ricky Weeks is going to get 96 miles. There's cheese right there, huh? The deli. We're calling him the deli. Dave Gross, no. Corey Hart, last eight games, five for 32. Diamondbacks win 5-2. They snap a seven-game losing streak on the road. Brian Kenny paid to talk more baseball. Dontrell Willis booed in his last start. ERA is 4.75 over his last eight starts. Hasn't won at home since April 23rd, off to a rough start. Top of the first, Albert Pujols. Plate so to Gucci. 1 0 Cardinals. Now top of second, Juan and Carnacion. Scores Eckstein and to Gucci again. 6 0 Cardinals. Willis. Oh, what are you talking about? Cardinals win 6 0. Don Trow, Willis's trade value continues to plummet. Four for four in his last two games. Rounded out his first AB in this game against the Angels. However, later, bottom six, and he's warm again. 14th of the year, Devil Rays lead 4-1. to one. They get the worst record in the American League as they take on the Angels. Same inning, base is loaded two outs. Carlos Pena, second in baseball to slugging percentage out to A-Rod. That's how good a year he's having. Pops it up, way up, and oh, he is too sexy for his baseball hat. That hits the catwalk. Devil Rays lead 7-1. to one. Watch it. No one's really sure what happened, but look, great shot by the camera crew. The catwalk, the lights, Mike Sosha, not a fan of Right Said Fred. And the Double Rays going to win 7-2. to two. Teams divided the first two games of this set. Moment, both the playoff teams. Greg Maddox, 0 for 3, area around 9. His last three starts hasn't lost four consecutive decisions in 17 years. But as you see, Jose Reyes and Jose Valencia and Carlos Beltran the first find out that the uh, Mad Dogs got good stuff. But before the sixth, Mad Dog complaining, being tired, a little tender hammy, so he exits. 65 pitches, four hits, no runs in five innings. Four nothing game to Carlos Delgado. Flies out at oh. no, flies out of the building. Mike Cameron leaves. Thought he was going to make a great catch. Instead, that's four bases and a point for Delgado. And then in the eighth with two on. David Wright takes Scott Linebrink deep. Three run shot his first since the All-Star break. 17. And it's tied at four. Maddox, no decision in the eighth. Jeff Blum home half coming back at you with runners on first and second. He singles to right field. Oh, cool. ah, some guy named Joe Smith. Hello, Green would score. Then Lastings Millage, right, with two outs in the ninth. Big swing, medium length fly ball. Trevor Hoffman, career save 5 08. The Padres win it.
starts. However, his kryptonite, that man. Maglio Ordonez, career 14 RBIs against Santana, most of any player. Top of the fourth, his 36th double of the year. Most in the AL and second in baseball to Chase Utley. 16 career RBIs against Santana. 2-0 Tigers behind Andrew Miller. Miller went five, struck out five, ERA down to 3.18. Back to the Ordonez Santana matchup. Ordonez, not a good player, a great player. 79 RBIs now. That's second to A Rod and tied with Utley for second in baseball. There's that Utley guy again. 15th homer for Ordonez, 17 career RBIs and five homers against Santana. To the eighth now. Bottom eight. Joe Maurer to left. Marcus Thames, great play. Rolls over three times and comes up grabbing the left handy. Craig Monroe left this game with back spasms. Torrey Hunter left this game with a hamstring issue as well. Ninth yeah. inning, Todd Jones gets Garrett Jones to ground out to end the game. 25 of 29 in save ops for Todd Jones. Best record in baseball belongs to the Tigers. Ordonez gets the best of Santana again. Blue Jays, seven back of the Red Sox in the loss column of the ALE, six back of the AL wildcard leading Indians. Roger Clemens, though, Yankees is two and six when he starts. This game was about the Blue Jays having opportunities and Clemens getting out of jams. Six innings, nine hits, but only one earned run. Top of seven, still one nothing Toronto again. Mike Myers gets Lau over Bay. Blue Jays strand 13, bottom seven. Still one nothing Toronto. Alex Rodriguez continues his amazing season. 32 home runs and now 23 doubles. Jeter and Abreu score, and the Yankees just like that lead 2-1. Top of eight, more chances for the Blue Jays. Rivera in to get Alex Rios, and he does. Rios was four for four, not anymore. Yankees, six and one since the break. What about the Red Sox? Mm, Royals, Red Sox. We're about 36 hours from sheer panic in the nation. <laughs> Fans getting spooked, even if the team is not Julio Lugo. Entering the game with a seven game hit streak. Let's make it eight. The base is full. Doubles to left. Kevin Euclid, Jason Veritek score. Lugo, too hot. Ow! Too hot. My hot stuff is hot. Well, made me sweat. 3 2 Red Sox. Then William Tavares, Billy Butler drives the pitch. Center. Two runs are going to score there. KC is going to go back up five four. It's the fifth straight start that Tavares has not gotten out of the fifth inning. Bottom seven, two on two out. Kevin Euclid's big spot. And Mark Rizalonic, big defensive play. Good stop. Fires. Euclid, you're out. Royal stay up six five. Bottom nine, one on, two out. Manny Ramirez. Homer in the fifth. How about here? Chance to tie it? Maybe the walk off? No. Last walk off homer for Manny, September 1996. Royals win six five, take two of three at Finland. Beat the Red Sox. That's what Mark Tardif used to do. Mark Tardif not in this top ten. However, Abraham Nunez is. As Tim Kirkton says, everyone makes this play now. This has become a routine baseball play. Therefore, it's only number nine. Back in the late 80s, it would have been three. Number eight, soccer, a charity match to mark Nelson Mandela's 89th birthday in Cape Town. And Tresor Lomana Lua Lua with the nice low cross. Abidi Pele with the score. Number seven, Royals Red Sox. David De Jesus. I mean, he's, the, he's the first batter of the game, and Manny Ramirez appeared to play a little more deeply in left than he has been. He's been playing deep short most of this year. He goes back, makes a nice play. Also homered in this game, but the Red Sox lost six to five. Number six, Astros, Nationals, Nook Logan, fly ball, shallow center. Hunter Pence is coming, coming, makes the great sliding catch, and then said, there will be no more of that. Nats, though, win this thing 7-6. Number five, Iran, Malaysia soccer. Malaysia, Shukor Adan tries for the upper 90 shot. And look at this, oh. goalkeeper Hassan Rodbarian. Number three, what Dan Seals was to England, Dan and John Ford Coley. James Loney is to the Dodgers. Check him out. It heads up, a la Billy Martin back in the day. Russell Martin, uh, he hesitates, and Loney saves the day. It's sad to belong to someone else. The right one comes along. Number two, Cardinals Marlins. Ryan Ludwig, comebacker off D. Nice. Stays with, throws to first. You know, one, three, wow. two double play is nice. Cardinals win six, nothing. I have no Seals and Crossroads. One, three, two. Number one. Reds and Braves, Brandon Phillips in the 10th. That's a double play. The Braves appeared to be on their way to victory. Instead, the Reds get that double play, go on to win the game in 15, and sweep Atlanta for the first time in 17.